We've learned a lot more about the murder of a Jessamine County man after his body was found burned in the back of a truck back in 2008. The man convicted of manslaughter in Mark Dunn's death was up for parole today, but he was not the one revealing more details about the case. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has more in the big story at 530. Good morning, sir. Could you state your name and your DOC number for the record, please? David Peel headed into this small room to face two people on the parole board who decide if he goes free or stays in jail. In April, Peel entered an Alfred plea to manslaughter second and other charges. He got 20 years for the brutal killing of Mark Dunn. Dunn was shot in the face, his body loaded in the back of a truck, then the truck set on fire, a heinous crime that went unsolved until 2014. Why did you kill this man? I didn't. All I did was pick Otis up when he called. Otis Henson is the other person convicted on lesser charges. Peel is the one police had shot his friend in the face when he thought Dunn was cooperating with a drug investigation. He sat quietly as he listened to excerpts read from court documents that stated he even filled the truck up with gas so it would burn better with Dunn's body in it. All details Dunn continued to deny. The hearing got very contentious at times. You were convicted of manslaughter second degree. Why were you convicted of manslaughter second degree? I'm giving you one more opportunity to tell the board what your role was in this. All my role was I came and picked him up when he called me. With that said, the board took Peel's case under consideration. Less than five minutes later, It is the decision of the board to defer your case. Parole denied, deferred for two more years. Covering the news in Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.